The transfer window looms for Derby County and Paul Warren as we look ever closer to improving this Derby County squad. Now, a big question on my lips is what is going to happen in this January window? And I'm sure you guys are feeling the same. That's something we're going to get into in this video. But if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well to help push this video to brand new audiences. And I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. So let me know what you think Derby County should do in January down in the comments. Make sure you check out Kitbag if you have not done so already. 50% off, 50 different selected lines. So make sure you go and get your Christmas presents in early and let's get into it. Now, Derby County in January, it's never really been a great window for Derby County. Ultimately, we never usually pick up the right players. Last season was a very, very good turnaround for Paul Warren, bringing in Ibu Adams on loan from Cardiff City. But what is going to happen this year and why is this January window going to be ultimately a lot difficult than that one? You obviously look at Derby County's squad and it's obviously... Uh, quite obvious what, that there's certain areas that need to be improved and urgently you look at uh, the likes of the striker department I believe we still need one more maybe two in that area obviously you look at uh, Connor Washington James Collins ultimately in my opinion not necessarily those championship level players anymore you look at the back four you look at the centre-back position you look at right back and you think Ultimately, we need players there. You look at Sonny Bradley. Is he going to be able to continue for much longer? Is he good enough, really, to be playing at this level? And obviously, you then look at the left-back position with Craig Forsyth still... Uh, pumping on at this big age and he's doing really really well in my opinion he's had a fairly decent spell over the course of the last few weeks when he's been in the team and these are all things which are going to need to be addressed now whether that be in January or in the summer they're things that we need to look at you obviously look at the likes of Connor Washington Tom Barkasem who are out of contract in the summer obviously Craig Forsyth Sonny Bradley and Liam Thompson all join that list as well as players who are going to be out of contract in the summer now ultimately I think some of these players are going to have decisions made for them in January so that they are able to continue their careers if that's what they choose to do. I think Connor Washington and Tom Barkays are two players who could potentially be seeing the door in January. I don't think we're going to do a lot of movement. I personally believe it's going to be small action. Uh, I think maybe one or two players will move out for two players to come in. And ultimately, I think someone on the likes of Tawanda Chiwa may find himself heading back to his parent club. Now, obviously, these are discussions which are going to have been ongoing, really, since the summer transfer window ended. They'll be picking up targets, uh, going and scouting players and things like that. And uh, there's obviously a lot of people who work within that situation. It's going to be really interesting to see what Derby County are able to do this January window. There's been a few reports claiming that we aren't going to do a great deal. And... I don't necessarily disagree with it. I'm not going to turn around and say, I don't believe the reports. I'm not going to turn around and say that uh, we're going to do loads because ultimately I think January is one of the windows where you won't ever do a great deal. I personally think that we are going to we are going to make some moves though and it does require us to move players out because of the maximum registrations. You look at uh, a player like Tawanda Chiru who's taken up a registration slot but has probably only played three or four times for Derby County since joining and you look at a player like Nat Phillips who is going to be wanting to play football. He's came to Derby County because he wants to play football and ultimately he's struggled to break in that Curtis Nelson and Erin Cash in partnership. Obviously, he's played as that central centre-back at times and uh, obviously in the most recent game, he uh, played instead of Erin Cashin as Cashin was suspended. But ultimately, heading into this weekend's fixture versus Preston North End, I assume it's going to be business as usual with Cashin coming back in. Will we go to a back three? I'm not entirely sure. I think there is potential for that, which would obviously give Phillips the opportunity to stay in. I think it's also a better situation for Kane Wilson. But as we spoke about earlier with the positions, you look at right back and realistically our only good defender in that position is Ryan Niambi who's currently out injured and I believe he's going to be out till around February time. You can obviously let me know your thoughts down in the comments on this one but I think there's a potential that we could see Joe Ward uh, head out on loan maybe uh, to find himself some football and find himself some form because ultimately since coming to Derby County it's been so up and down for him. He's never really quite hit the levels that he probably wanted to and ultimately 
that's it is a little bit sad. He's had moments where he's been really, really good. You obviously look at uh, the Pompey game. I think there was Blackpool as well that he played in where he's had some really, really good moments. Pretty similar to Corey Blackett-Taylor in a sense, but ultimately has never really hit the fine form that ultimately got the move to Derby County. And it's going to be interesting to see what does happen with that one. Now, obviously, we already know Curtis Nelson has signed a new contract until uh, 2026. And uh, judging by what Paul Warren said in his media, which I spoke about in yesterday's video, uh, they've kicked the option down a year so that we'll essentially have an option on him at the end of next season to keep him until 2027. And Ultimately, will we keep him? I don't know. I believe he's 31 now. We'll be 32 in the summer. So we'll be looking at uh, a 33-year-old uh, Curtis Nelson when it comes to the discussion about the extension. But obviously, as we know, with the likes of Phil Jagielka, who have played for the club, the likes of Wayne Rooney, the likes of Curtis Davis, you can play well into your 30s if you look after yourself. And obviously, the likes of Colin Kazim Richards as well. Chris Martin was in his 30s last time he played for us. So there is those situations, obviously Forsyth as well, who is still putting in a shift for Derby County in the championship. Now, obviously all these discussions are very sort of uh, hit and miss at the moment. It's really, it is going to be interesting to see what Derby County are going to be looking at in January. Obviously my prayer profile videos will be back uh, when the January window does hit. I think it's going to be very interesting to see who Derby County get linked to and who we actually do make moves for. I think we're really t t going to try and tap into that European market over the next 12 to 18 months, in my opinion. We've already seen it begin with the signings of Kenzo Holdmine and uh, Jakob Vidal Zetterstrom, two very, very good players that we've bought in uh, in the summer that have been absolutely amazing for Derby County. So... It's one of them for me, which is going to be really interesting to keep across. Now, the big question around January is, how much money have we got to spend? Obviously, we know there's been talk about investment, but ultimately, I don't see that coming until uh, the end of this season. In my personal opinion, I don't think Derby County are going to be... Uh, I don't think we're going to be selling any percentage of the club until we've confirmed our championship status for another season. Or we're in a position where we look as if we're going to stay up. Now, you can obviously let me know your thoughts down in the comments. But I think we're sort of in a position of limbo, maybe. I don't know if limbo is the right word. That's probably a little bit too harsh. But we're in a situation where we're going to have the opportunity to potentially bring in players. But there's no guarantee. And it's a little bit sort of worrying where you don't really know where your club is in a financial standpoint we've obviously been through it with Mel Morris and I'm not saying David Clouds is doing anything like that but ultimately I think we're in a situation where any moves that happen in January will probably be loan signings um, unless obviously someone comes in pays 20 million for cash in I don't foresee us spending a vast amount, maybe one to two million pounds this summer. So you can obviously let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you have not done so already, go and check out Kit Bag down in the description. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit that like button as well to help push this video to brand new audiences. Share it with your friends. Comment a ram in the comment section for the sake of engagement. And I'll catch you in my next video.